going to attempt to install a third function valve on a Kubota MX4700 with an LA844 front end loader uh, for my root rake uh, with a grapple. I've never used the grapple before obviously been using it just as a root rake for years but I finally went and purchased the land pride three eight zero dash one six six a and we're going to attempt to get that thing installed today never really worked on hydraulics before but I was looking around on the internet and I couldn't find any videos that were worthwhile so I'm by no means an expert but we'll give this a shot so so this kit comes in a get the instructions That's the solenoid this is the actual valve We've got some hydraulic fittings dust caps zip ties washers I believe that goes on the tube, the cross tube on the front end loader. And this piece hooks onto the uh, hydraulic control valve. It's already on the tractor. And you get some hoses. I guess those run from the underneath the tractor up to the control valve. And then I guess these go up to the front of the tractor. So, oh, and your remote goes on the control stick. So that's what you get in the kit. So the first thing it wants you to do is to take off these mounting bolts here and then you're gonna mount this little bracket um, this way. right there in its place now these are 17 millimeter bolts well, that's everything that comes in the packet um, get your dust cover, some fittings cable ties, a few bolts, washers, and a little fuse holder and a fuse. And here's the valve. Northern Company Limited. Solenoid operated directional valve. Part number. Um, next, it says to install that on your little mounting bracket right there. So, according to the diagram, it wants the a solenoid mounted on using just these two little screws. The um, washers and lock washers are for uh, mounting the whatever that's called uh, the mounting plate to the uh, cross tube on the bucket. So these two uh, just mount 
right in there up against the plate on the tractor. So after you get that mounted, the instructions say to locate and remove the hydraulic hose that connects the power beyond port of the tractor's loader valve assembly to outlet block under the tractor platform. Now the power beyond port is going to be this one right here. Um, you got that uh, BY right there beyond and that hose is going to come down um, it's got green tape on it and it's going to be uh, this back one here um, and you can see the uh, green paint right there on it so yeah take that hose off uh, completely according to the instructions connecting this hose to the third function valve um, that part of the hose is going to go directly onto the block uh, but you'll need an adapter it comes with the kit um, this little guy the part with the o-ring goes into the p port um, on the block and this other end it's going to go down into the hose right there next it says to connect the T port right there up to the uh, up to the power beyond port up here using uh, another hose that came with the kit and again you'll have to use that little fitting again with the o-ring going into the Third function valve. We are going to take off this knob. This pulls right off. Then we are going to put on our control lever. Um, it says to make sure these buttons are facing towards you. And then these little set screws, uh, they have an Allen key to drive them down and then a nut to tighten them so that just goes on the end like so make sure your cable is under there so you're not pinching the cable and then uh, tighten it down with your allen key and i'm going to do that the electrical connections it says to connect one black wire from the harness that's coming off of your um, joystick. So as you're going to connect one black wire to the black wire that's coming off of the uh, third function valve, you're connecting the other black wire to the white wire then you're connecting these two red wires from your control lever. You're connecting those to one end of your fuse holder. Fuse holder. And then you're connecting the other end to the positive um, terminal on the battery. So what you're going to have to do this harness that comes from the control lever is long enough to go all the way to the front so you're gonna have to cut into this um, whatever sheathing that's on here um, and get your black wires to connect here and then you'll just uh, don't obviously don't cut the red wires those are going all the way up uh, to the fuse on the positive terminal of the battery. Alright, so I've got my wiring run down. I ran it underneath the console over to the left side of the tractor and then up to the uh, positive terminal on the battery. 
And next it says to disconnect the right side um, hardware so you can mount this. Um, so I'm just going to unhook that uh, bolt there and bolt this on. Okay, so we got that mounted on there, that uh, bolt. There's a longer one supplied with the kit um, to make up for that extra thickness on that bracket. And the bolt head is a little bit bigger too. It's a 13 millimeter uh, bolt head, whereas the old one was a 12. So just FYI. Okay, so once you got that bulkhead put on there, to get that fitting, connect the hose, um, came with the kit to there, and we're connecting the other end of the hose. Um, it's going to go onto the top of these blocks, but to do that, you're going to use what came with the kit. This goes into Port A. I'm going to get that on there. Gonna put that on top of there. And then you'll mount that onto that. Alright, so a little tip. Make sure that these, make sure that you tighten these up because these, from the kit, these connections here are not tight. So make sure that that coupler to the hose connection is tight. If I hook mine up assuming that they were tight out of the kit and they start shooting fluid everywhere, but uh, got that tightened up um, and everything works. So, just to show you, put the up button, I'll get this up so you can see, up button, opens them up, down button, Also on, um, on your switch itself, you hit the down button. But only when you click the down button will that uh, red light on the solenoid light up. There you go, it works.